Stuart Smith. I'm Ben Raposa. I'm Jasper Fletcher. Welcome, Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? Every year, students congregate at football and basketball games to cheer on and support our Blue Devils, forming the Devil's Den. Led by the past Den leaders, the Devil's Den has allowed students to build morale and express their school spirit. While participation in the age-old tradition has been a core part of NHS school culture for decades, attendance and enthusiasm has faltered in recent years. We sat down with former athletic director Kara Sheridan to talk about the challenges and responsibilities that come along with running a student section. Monitoring the Devil's Den entails making sure kids are safe, um, holding um, them accountable to their behavior, but also encouraging team spirit and camaraderie and support for our teams and for each other. Um, it also means having adults around who can support that process and, and encouraging kids to, to engage with each other and with the opponents in a positive way. Some issues we face regarding the Devil's Den have to do with language, um, uh, getting caught up in the sort of the back and forth with the opposing team as opposed to cheering for our team. We sometimes get caught up in cheering against the other team. Um, so that's, that's a big one that we try to encourage is supporting our own kids over sort of tearing down others. Um, we've had some issues with chemical health at games and that's really concerning for us because our number one job is to keep kids safe. So we encourage kids to come to events substance free and to leave our events and go do other substance free activities. Um, I'd love to add that uh, the Devil's Den is a great way to get involved and to be connected to your peers and to really get out and cheer for your team. Um, and to show everyone that, um, that you care about our sports and, and our kids out there. So I encourage everybody to come to events and to, um, and to be positive role models and to support each other and, and have a great time. We also sat down with this year's Devil's Den leaders to gain insight on this year's Devil's Den. I guess definitely from the past, the Devil's Den, I feel like most of like, the underclassmen don't really show up. And like, like especially last year, like half the games there wouldn't even be like people there. And then like it just wasn't really a den, but I feel like this year if like everybody goes and like everybody like participates because like it's like school spirit. I feel like if everybody does, it'll be like a good den because there's a lot of kids that are like willing to go to the games and like actually watch and like pay attention. Yeah, we just want to emphasize is that the policy that was started last year, where if you play a sport uh, for whichever season, uh, the admission to the games is free. That'll be continuing this year. Um, so what you have to do is find Mr. Morrison. His office is on the other side of the band room, and he'll give you a sticker if you play a fall sport, um, and then you won't have to pay money to get into the games. I think like in past years, um, it's been the participation has not really been what the upperclassmen have been looking for. Um, I think last year got a little better with Owen and Devonte, um, and I'm hoping that this year we can really make big strides in terms of how many people show up to the games.